Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says The sum of three numbers in GP is 56. If we subtract 1, 7 and 21 from these numbers in that order, we obtain an arithmetic progression. Find the numbers. So first let us learn that if we have three numbers A, B and C, First case is, if A, B and C are in GP, then B upon A is equal to C upon B, or we can say that B square is equal to AC. And if these three numbers are in AP, then B minus A is equal to C minus B, or we can say that 2B is equal to A plus C. So with the help of these two ideas, we will solve the above problem. So this is our key idea. Let's now start with the solution. And let the numbers in GP be A AR and AR square. Now we are given that sum of these three numbers is equal to 56. And also we are given that when 1, 7 and 21 are subtracted from A, AR and AR square respectively, then the resulting numbers are in AP. That is, A minus 1, AR minus 7, and AR square minus 21 are in AP. And by our key idea we know that if three numbers are in AP, then two times of second term is equal to the sum of first and third term. So, we have got two equations. Let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now with the help of these two equations, we will find the value of A and R and hence we will find the GP. Now 2 can further be written as 2AR minus 14 is equal to A plus AR square minus 22 or we have 2AR is equal to A plus AR square minus 8. Now, from equation 1, we have A plus AR square is equal to 56 minus AR. So, on substituting the value of this equation in let this be equation number 3. So, on substituting this value in equation 3, Equation 3 can further be written as 2AR is equal to 56 minus AR minus 8 or we have 3AR is equal to 48 which further implies that AR is equal to 16 or A is equal to 16 upon R. Now, substituting A is equal to 16 upon R in equation number 1. 1 can be rewritten as 16 upon R plus 16 upon R into R plus 16 upon R into R square which is equal to 56. Or it can be written as 16 plus 16 R 
plus 16 r square is equal to 56 r or 16 r square minus 56 r minus 16 r is 40 r and so it is minus 40 r plus 16 is equal to 0. Now taking 8 common we have 2 r square minus 5 r plus 2 is equal to 0. Now since 8 is not equal to 0 so this implies 2 r square minus 5 r plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this by splitting the middle term can be written as 2 r square minus 4 r minus r plus 2 is equal to 0 or taking 2 r common from the first two terms and minus 1 common from the last two terms this can further be written as 2 r into r minus 2 minus 1 into r minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2r minus 1 is equal to into r minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if the product of two numbers is equal to 0, then at least one of them is 0. So this implies 2r minus 1 is equal to 0 or r minus 2 is equal to 0. So this implies r is equal to half or r is equal to 2. Now if r is equal to half, and this implies A, which is 16 upon R, will be equal to 16 upon half is equal to 32. And if R is equal to 2, then this implies that A is equal to 16 upon 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, the GP is equal to 32. 16 and 8 if R is equal to half and GP is equal to 8, 16 and 32 if R is equal to 2. So the numbers are 8, 16 and 32. So this completes the session. Take care and have a good day.